Hello Magic Community, T1 Glistener Elf here, coffeeed up, ready to play some more Vintage on good old Untap, on, in the uh, Vintage Untap Open League. So this is the deck I'm running, it is still, as it will be for the whole league, Blazing Infect. It's my, my handy little creation, and uh, here we go. So, ooh, hello, thank you for letting me know, I needed that. So, Blighted Agent's the big creature, despite being T1 Glistener Elf, no Glistener Elves here, Mental Misstep is a card. Uh, good old Blighted Agent, two Plague Stingers as backup Blighted Agents. Oh my goodness, my internet is slow. I hope this won't be a problem. It, watch it be. I, I live in the sticks, so... Uh, yeah, so Progenitus... Why is Progenitus here? Well, you may think it has something to do with Show and Tell being down here, but no, it has to do with... Where are you, bud? Blazing Shoal. This is why it's Blazing, in fact. So I can pitch a red card, uh, Progenitus, hopefully, uh, CMC, whatever, and my creature will get plus X, plus O, and I won't have to pay the mana cost. Ta-da! It's a free magic card. Now, this, this deck got a lot worse when Lavinia was printed, but no Lavinia is coming up in my uh, opponent's deck. Uh, by the way, there's also Tinker Blightsteel in there. Uh, and my opponent's on Dredge, but it's a very particular kind of Dredge. You don't typically see Prized Amalgam in Vintage Dredge. You don't typically see Hollow One in the main board. And uh, Dragonlord Colagon is neat, I readily admit. This is, um, this is, this is good. This is Flamekin Zealot, but without the plus one plus one to the team, but with being bigger on its own and flying, and it has an extra little, uh, little bonus there at the bottom. Uh, Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. This is the plus two plus two to yours, minus two minus two to theirs. So it beats creature decks. Um, and then a lot of blue stuff for Mental Misstep, for Mind Break Trap, for Force of Will. This is a counterspell heavy dredge deck. And that means I, I do have to watch out. Now, it does look, however, my, like my opponent may be giving up perhaps a significant amount of speed by doing this. And thankfully for me, Mental Misstep does almost nothing against me. It doesn't hit my creatures, it doesn't hit Blazing Shoal. I'm okay with it. It doesn't hit Show and Tell, it doesn't hit Tinker. There's very little in my deck other than the Cantrips and the Tutors, and uh, Ancestral and my own Mental Missteps uh, that will be hit by Mental Missteps. So I'm not too worried about that. Cabal Therapy is a problem if they, if they, uh, if they get there, or if they just. Well, we have our deck list actually. My opponent and I, of course, see each other's deck list. So Cabal Therapy is way better when you know the opponent's deck list. So actually, that's something to be worried about. Other than that, for Grave Trolls, for Stinkweed Imps, a Golgari Thug, for Narcomoebas, and I apologize for this loading so slowly. I should, I should hover over it to give you a second to read these cards. Uh, now, because it's Vintage Dredge, we do have Serum Powder, uh, just to make sure that they get their Bazaar of Baghdad. It's only four of, so with Serum Powder, they get a few more shots at it, and this is an absolutely bonkers magic card. I love it. Uh, for Bridge from Below, because it's Dredge, and for Leyline of the Voids for the Mirror, that's how prevalent Dredge is. Now, thankfully for... Rat 3D, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, thankfully for Rat here, uh, a lot of the decks, a plurality of the decks here, are going to be uh, Dredge decks. And then the next most common deck in our league is Survival. So, those will come in handy, but you gotta get past me first, bud. You gotta get past me. Alright, and we are... All right, just recorded the opening. All right, cool. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, bud. And I should move this away from the computer. I should move the computer more here so that you can see me better. And I don't have to do this every time I want to lean down and see. All right, cool. So uh, my opponent joined the game. Da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, I go first so that I have to decide first. Okay, I see land. Infect creature, extra, so I can go turn one, ink moth this, but then I don't get to hold up counter magic. I have show and tell and tinker. Uh, show and tell doesn't do me any good here. Tinker's fine. So I can, I'm going to go fetch land. I think I want to hold up the mocks here too. I, I want to play the mocks because that gives me one fewer spell to cast on the next turn in case they have a mind break. And Maybe it'll give me some... Well, I don't... There's no soft counter magic. They can mental mist up the spell pierce. It's fine. I'm not going to be attacking with the Ink Moth anyway. The way that this game is going, that's just not a thing. So we're going to go... 
Uh, turn one, actually we're gonna move you here so we can put the mocks right here. Hello, whoa, that, that got weird. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Sorry. Oops, I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Oh my god, tell me my internet's not that slow. Oh no! Mold of four! Holy crap, where is your bazaar, man? Holy crap! And this is why it hurts to play dredge. This is one reason why. Th three! Okay, wait, 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 okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind, this is a serum powder. Or a serum, yep. Yeah. Serum powder, there it is, there it is. Okay, so they're gonna go back to four here. What the heck is going on? There's another one, okay. So this is a free mulligan. Which, you know, you do what you have to do. We're playing okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay, well, we do the same thing we did last time. Let me pull that off. I got good news for you. You're not dead yet. But maybe they have a bazaar, and then they can get themselves back into the game. And we pass the turn. This is still a deck that can... It can still do it. To be clear, if you have Bizarre A Dredge card, you can still actually do it. Okay, it's loading slowly, but that's Bizarre Baghdad. Alright, Drew 2, discarding 3, discarding Cabal Therapy. Oh no, that's Expelled. That's the discard pile. Here though, we have Elish Okay, well, I'm not so worried. Yeah, so this is, this is a good combination of cards to drop. That is an excellent combination. Uh, do we want an extra land? I'll say upkeep. Um, if we fetch here, we make it less likely that we'll find another land. I think we're good on mana for this game, and I know that I'm not playing against a strip mine wasteland list. And we can confirm that by looking at the deck list, <laughs> plus its dredge. So, I would like to thin here. We're going to pay one, click. I'm going to look through our deck, find a card, find a cad, any cad. Oh wow, my internet is super duper slow. I'm actually going to check just to make sure that I'm recording okay. Yeah, it looks fine on my end, so alright, well, there goes. And then I'll draw. Hey, there we are. And then I drew another land. That's just how the ball bounces, I guess. Alright. One. Crap. Whoa. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. I don't think that I can wait up here. I could wait one more turn and try to do Spell Pierce. I really don't want to give my opponent any more time then I absolutely can. They better. They have to have Force of Will, and with three cards in hand, I don't think they have Force of Will. So there's Tinker. Additional cost, I have to sack my... Oh my goodness. There it goes. Okay. I mean, they, they did just do Bizarre, though, so they could have done some filtering to get Force Blue card. That's possible. Oh, jeez. Nope, they didn't. I may have to get some more coffee after this. Alright, well, find a card. Tell me, opponent, what do you think that you're going to do about... Where are you? There you are. 
an indestructible 1111. It is about to be a 99. I, I suspect it will be a 99 pretty soon. But that's okay. 99, trample, infect. And, um, yeah. Now we pass the stinking turn. <laughs> this isn't Jewel Shops. I can't give it haste. I, I have done that before. Okay, well. Coffee. Getting some tea next, I believe. I might get some more coffee. I'll get some tea. Get my uh, chili tea. Which is exactly what it sounds like. Hmm. Okay. GG. Okay. Game two. May I get a drink really quickly? Oh, jeez. That lag. That lag. All right. Cool. Uh, I'll be right back right back. All right, I'm back. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but uh, that is chili tea. Super green uh, and spicy, which I dig 100%. So let's see. Scoop and go to the next game. Sideboard strategy. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So the obvious ends. Hello. There you are. Ravid's Trap goes in. Leyline of the Void goes in. Grafdigger's Cage has to come in, even though it's a Hollow One deck. So Hollow One doesn't care about Grafdigger's Cage, period. They just they just don't. But Hollow One's still kind of slow for what we're what we're trying to do. So I think I'm okay with that. Nonetheless, you know, Prized Amalgam, Narcomoeba, Dread Return. There, there's no reason or Flashback Cabal Therapy. There's no reason not to bring this in. Uh, they do have Mental Misstep. But it's not the only hate card I have. Uh, Echoing Truth, eh, no, not really, unfortunately. You can use it to deal with the tokens or maybe a Colagon, but it's, it's a little cute. It's not necessary by any means. Um, okay, so stuff to take out. Oh, jeez. I see a mental misstep over there. Counter Magic, in general, is awful <laughs> against Dredge. Uh, it's typically the case that you want to speed up. Um, well, first, let me let me get an easy out. Let me get the easiest out. Hercules Recall does nothing. Um, just actual factual nothing except bounce hollow ones. L let me make sure about that. Sidhu Brass. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> nope. No. Um, they're not casting that. Now, it is often the case that you'll side out your Force of Wills, and I think that that's what you're supposed to do. The reason is, you notice how many spells my opponent cast just then. So, uh, typically the way that it'll end up, they don't have to cast anything for the whole game. They don't have to. If they do cast something, it's like a Cabal Therapy. It's a Dread Return. And if it's a Cabal Therapy first, it's often to take your Counter Magic for a Dread Return. You get the idea. So, Force of Will is probably coming out. I have Spell Pierce, so I can take out... Mental Misstep is, is weird. So, I see... Oh, wrong list. I see Nature's Claim, and I think that my opponent's going to bring in Nature's Claim. Uh, it won't deal with... Obviously, it won't deal with Blightsteel, but it deals with Ink Moth, and they have access to my deck list. I think they know what's going on. Because of that, I don't want to take out Mental Misstep. I think it's important to keep it... Oh, and also Leyline of the Void. That's another reason why that'd be there. So I'm going to take out four Force of Will. I don't want to two-for-one myself here. And then I need one more... One more. And I think it'll be Spell Pierce. Yes, it, it will be Spell Pierce. You know... No, no, we're not taking out Show and Tell. This, even though it's a reanimator deck, and they could Show and Tell in something big... I think we're okay. So that's that's how I'm doing it. Feel free to disagree. I could very well be entirely wrong. 
Oh no, don't mulligan again. Oh, hi, Graf Digger's Cage. But... Nothing else. Oh, crap. Um... Okay. It's my opponent's anyway, so... Thinking. How much do I value turn one Graf Digger's Cage? I'm on the draw. I'm gonna get a couple draw steps to get out of this, potentially. So I will keep. Um, I will regret this, <laughs> but I'm a game up too, so I will keep. Okay. Wow, that is slow. It's not normally that slow, I swear. <laughs> Alright. So my opponent, of course, turn one bizarre, as you do. You know, as you do. And Bazaar is going to go a long way in helping my opponent dig out of this. We could potentially even see Hollow One this turn. We know their deck. Alright, what are we dropping? Oh, is this a... yep. Oh, and what's this card? Is that another Force of Will? Just being slow to load. Hello? Okay, Mana Confluence. And, uh... Hmm... I can I can maybe live with that. Let's draw our card. Hello? Oh, hi. Blazing Shoal, big red card. So if we get there, which is a big if, say hi to Graf Digger's Cage. Except it's about to get misstepped or something. Something. I have a feeling. I need a land. I could use a land. I, even a mox. A mox would be fine. I can live with a mox because that would turn on Ink Moth Nexus and then Progenitus or Blazing Shoal Pitch Progenitus GG. That said, here comes Draw 6. <laughs> That's what Dredge 6 feels like. Except it also gets worse because there's Bizarre, so uh. I mean, they're going to find a Nature's Claim. If not, they're going to find a Hollow One. And I can live with Hollow One for a couple turns. If they find Hollow One, invariably, they'll find multiple Hollow Ones. That's, that's how it seems to work. Okay. While, uh, while my opponent's doing this, and I, I saw they just put something up, I'm a little surprised there's no Iona. But then again, this is a very colorless format, so I guess that's fair. There's a Hollow One. Hi, bud. Zero mana. Yep. Yep. Alright. Oh, um... No response. There we go. Good question. Good question. Alright, pass turn to me. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Untap. Draw. Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. Okay, I did say past the turn. <laughs> it just took a sec. I swear, why is my computer so slow? Why is my internet so slow? This is why I don't stream. In case anyone was wondering, this is why I record and then upload it later. I can't stream. This... This is not the the most strenuous app that there is. Okay. Well, good news. If my opponent is doing nothing but dredging now, and they don't already have a land in hand, then in all likelihood, they won't be able to find a mana confluence. They won't be able to find a land to get, uh, to get Nature's Claim online. They won't have colorless mana. That said, I'm about to see another hollow one, because that's my luck. Oh, high-priced amalgam that can't come back from the graveyard. Yep, there's another hollow one. Okay. So I have two more turns. And that's about it. Two more turns. Okay, gotta find it. And hope that they don't have a counterspell. Yeah, because I have seven cards in hand and none of them are counterspells. I wonder why that might be. 
Maybe I sided out my counter magic. Maybe. Okay, they still need Force of Will, though. Mind Break won't do it. Mental Misstep won't do it. But, but, theoretically, if I tried to play one of my Tutors or Ponder or Preordain, that would, that'd be fine. Oh yeah, no response. Sorry. No response. They're waiting. Hello? Hey, there we go. Oh, hi. My turn. Hi, extra bizarre... I guess it doesn't change the clock if you tap the bizarre here. Unless you find the other two. That would do it. Alright, so we're gonna go to draw. Please. No! Why? Okay, I'm not dead yet. I still get one more turn to find it. Move to clean up. Make sure my opponent's cool with that. Okay. Preordain? I guess? That makes the most sense, I, I believe. It doesn't really matter. Alright. Then I'm passing on over. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Gotta find a spell. Gotta find a spell. There's no way. There's no way that they don't have force of will. Oh, crap. One too many. There we go. They, they have to have it. They've looked through so many cards. How could you not at this point? Okay. Whale. Whale. Time to start doing some dredging. Yeehaw. Alright, moment of truth. Come on. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. The one. I'm gonna make my opponent do it. <laughs> Find a card. Hello? Oh my... That was so slow. <laughs> also, why does mine bump up like that? That's fine. Whatever. Alright. It's a dude? I said... Okay. Whoa. Whoa. The lag is real. The lag is real. And this is also why I don't do melee net play, by the way. For those that follow my channel because of the Super Smash Bros, uh, this is why I don't do melee net play. Alright, go to combat. Response? Alright. Here comes the force of will. <laughs> I know you have it. You've looked through way, way too many cards. There is a negative chance that you do not have it. As a, a, a wise man once said, just do it! Yep, <laughs> okay. Oh, they might have to dig for it. Oh, that's wild! They, they may not have had it. Or they may have had blue card and out force, or vice versa. Okay. Okay. What you got? What you got? It's all in your hands now. And they're about to have to discard three cards here. That means they can't use the second bazaar, because they'll have two, or excuse me, yeah, they're about to have two right here, right? Wait a minute. 
How many did they start with? Was it... Was it four cards? Draw two, discard three? GG? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna reveal this. Okay, <laughs> my opponent can see. Oh, no, yeah, okay, so they had, they had two. They couldn't do it again because they would go to four, have to discard three, and then they wouldn't have a card to pitch to force. What is that? A narc amoeba? And they needed a force of will! No, no! Is that double narc? I can't see this one. No, no, that's a... Uh, that's Noxious Revival. Interesting. Where was that? That's down here. Huh. If you don't mind my asking, why Noxious Revival? Oh crap, they left. No! I didn't get a chance to say. You know what? No, what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go ask real quick. Let me copy and paste this. And ask in Discord. I'll have the answer for you in just a moment, so I'm sorry about that. That was that was wild. That ah, oh, that was a stupid risky keep. <laughs> but I figured with two draw steps, I had a decent enough chance. You'll notice that the number counting my artifacts, of which I had none at the time, uh, I had one, two, three. So I had six. Ta da! And 16 lands because one Eat Moth Nexus was already out. So all I needed at that point. Now, granted, in the opener, I think I had Blazing, but not Progenitus, so I didn't have it yet. Um, but since I got Progenitus, I had 16 cards that would get me out from there. And in enough draw steps, uh, we can say Gitaxian Probe gives me a reroll. Uh, I eventually made it, so that was, that was lucky. My opponent said, well, Pitch Dredge can be a bit weak to Wasteland effects, and it seems better in the deck than Petrified Field. Ooh, okay. No, that's, that's fair enough. Pitch Dredge is what it's called, so that makes sense. You're pitching cards to Force of Will. You have a ton of disruption to back up the Noxious Revival, and can use Noxious Revival to get more disruption if that's what you want. Makes good sense to me. I appreciate it. Thanks for the comments. Comment. And the games. Good luck going forward. Yeah, this deck of mine is, uh, I've gone back and forth on how many cards to have in the sideboard like that for Dredge. It's right now six. Uh, for Graft Digger's Cage, because it also hits Oath. Although, they can play around it with Hollow One and Gurmog Angler, and Survival doesn't usually care about Graft Digger's Cage, etc, etc. But, um, it's still so powerful in those matchups that it's fine for me to keep. It also hurts my own Tinker, but that's only one card in the deck. I can live with that. Uh, then we have one Leyline of the Void, of course, and we have Ravenous Trap, uh, which hits a lot of these kinds of decks. Uh, but it's it's ephemeral, it's temporary, whereas something like Leyline or Grafdigger's Cage happens until they can deal with it. Uh, that's why I have that. Ta-da! Alright, and I hope you appreciated it. Would you have sideboarded differently? Hercules Recall out, Force of Will 4 out. Spell Pierce out, and that left me with Mental Misstep as my only counter magic because I'm not running Fluster Storm anymore. And uh, left me my tutors, my cantrips, my alt wing cons, and all that jazz. Alright, that's about it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye bye.